Hello and welcome to Total War Warhammer, where today we're playing a new faction playthrough of Musion. If you would like to have all the modifications to help you play as Musion, I do have them linked down below in my mod collection, and you can find it all there made by Locarian. Now, Musion is a Duchy of Bretonia, the black sheep of the family. It'll be led by the Red Duke of Musion, the former Duke of Aquitaine, and we will have a mixture of undead and living units too. Which, to be fair, the Vampire Counts should probably have that as well. Let's go over here and continue. Our Vargulf and Barngeist units are more expensive, but our Graveguard and Black Knight units are cheaper, which is fantastic, so we won't be picking up a lot of creatures, but for Graveguard and Black Knights, we'll have even more. A charge bonus for our Blood Knights, and we begin with two Black Knights and one Graveguard unit. We do have a powerful ability called El Sif, which will debuff any Lord or Hero to a point where they're just completely ineffectual. That will be the way that we win early on. Let's go straight into the game. I don't really need to worry about diplomacy too much because I'm surrounded by other duchies that would like to see me destroyed. To let you know, our kill to death ratio will not be grand at all. Our enemies are going to be able to shoot us down. We're playing them very hard, which is why they're going to be able to do that. Let's go look over here. Okay, I want more skeleton warriors for technology. I'm going to pick up the living nuisance and I want to tell you why. Corruption early on is very important. If I don't pick it up now, I won't be able to pick up corruption for quite a few turns which means that my rebellions will begin to spring up I don't want that if I have to fight rebellions I can't go out and conquer I might as well use my money now for that role alright raise dead while well, we can we'll pick up a few zombies and right now we can end our turn we'll go after Leoness to the west in order to complete our entire area oh and to let you know if you would like to name any lord hero unit let me know down below and I can change that in the future if I don't get to it I'll, I'll probably record it in bulk and I will have battle timestamps down below where you can skip to a battle if you would like to. I know a few people are here for the battles. And there will be many. Alright. Let's go check it out real quick. I'll take a few spearmen. I'll pick up... Yeah, peasant bowmen would be incredible to have. I've got to pick that up immediately. That would change up the game dramatically. And later, we can probably get some trebuchets. Yeah, I like that. For the moment, we'll get the Lamian Book of Blood. We're not quite ready, but we're going to be. Hold on. Let's move right over here. Sure, they're unhappy, but who cares? I don't. <laughs> Good, he says. Okay, let's end that turn, too. Fortunately, I have an SSD, which is why my turns are flying by. Otherwise, as I had more factions, oh, we would be here for a very long time. We could go straight over here and fight them now. Can I raise dead again? I can. Perfect. I'm not really too worried about who survives, so I'm going to call you the Red Guard. There we are. Now we can begin our war. They have no allies, and we can get straight to destroying them. I could use a few siege towers, and that would help me stay together. I could immediately launch upon the wall. Will they beat me? Probably. Yeah, they'll probably beat me. 20 armor. 18 melee attack. Oh, they have a lot more melee attack. We wouldn't win that fight at all. Alright, fine. I'll take one battering ram, and then we'll go straight into it. I'll have to attack a portion of their wall. If I attack every location, we'll just lose way too much. Not that I'm worried about that, but if I could save time and conquer another location one turn sooner, that would help me in my early game. The early game is very important when it comes to time. Kill them. Raise them. But look at that, I've got a lot of income. That feels pretty good. Okay, let's begin right now. Adelhard, I'm here for you. If I can get the Red Duke to beat him early on, that is very important. I need to debuff him right as they begin to duel. And they need to duel the entire time. If they're caught in a mixture of units, they will not be able to duel. And the battle will go on for a longer period of time. I don't want that. Oh, and I do have a mod to make garrisons even stronger too. That way our enemies aren't so weak whenever I'm conquering. The Graveguard... We'll be over here in the woods, hidden away. The Black Knights, too. All of you in the woods. Phil Bats will be back. Alright, zombies, you'll catch their arrow fire. Skeleton Warriors, you'll be over here. Other Warriors over here as well. The Red Duke. He shall begin to move in, and let's go. Right over here. Alright, come on, zombies, let's go. Let's go. 
end over here. Felbats will move up. We'll go after the archers on the wall. Do we have any archers on the wall? I'll try to hit their pole arms. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So here's what we'll do. These three will come over here. We can hit one portion of that wall and do pretty well. The Red Duke's coming to the gate. The zombies are moving forward. There's so many undead charging forward. Okay, you two. We'll go join the Red Duke. If I'm on the wall, I won't be able to use my magic. Or if another unit's on the wall, I won't be able to use my magic on them, I believe. I'll have to watch out for that. The fell bats I don't want attacking quite yet. I don't trust them to do well. Oh, they're being shot at already. Let's move back. I love my fell bats. I like to drive my foes batty. Alright, we need to check out our undead. Let's go do that right now. As you can tell, we look like Bretonians. Staggering, unhappy. Bretonians, but at least we're not being taxed anymore. Alright. Feels good, man. There they go. The Grave Guard look very cool. They're gonna be over here. They look very cool. They're all armored. I enjoy them. Alright, we're climbing on that wall now. We haven't lost too many. We've gotten to the gate. The Red Duke will now begin to break things down. Without his helmet, he kind of looks like a very angry baby from the Rugrats. Tommy, maybe. You know, the bald baby. <laughs> Alright, well. Pretty sure you didn't expect to hear about Rugrats during a Total War Warhammer playthrough. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, if they want to hit me, they can hit me. I can move up a little bit if I wanted to, probably. Or move back, maybe. That could work out. I don't want to hit one part of their wall. How many have you killed already? Oh, their kills are piling up. I can't wait to destroy them. Won't happen yet, though. Okay, let's go capture a part of their wall. Let's move over here. You'll see there's zombies. You got it under control. Thank you. Still breaking down the gate. I'm ready to kill Adelhard. Who looks very cool and dashing. If only we could hang him. Are you on the wall now? Yeah, you are on the wall. Fighting Peasant Bowman. Are you being beaten by Peasant Bowman? I hope not. You might be. I don't know. Okay. Let's go in. We'll heal up our skeleton swordsman as we go in. Oh, I've got to go get Adelhard right now. Debuffed Adelhard. Enjoy. And now we can fight. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. No, get to him right now. There we go. Now he's taking damage. That's exactly what I need right now. But those two to take damage. Together. Okay, there's my zombies. are beginning to move. I can now flank them. Potentially a bit. Let's bring in more swordsmen. Over here. Okay, all of you will move up over here. These are zombies. I'm going to bring them up too. We'll hit them at various points. The graveyard will move in later. I need to capture one tower before I do that. I'll try to. I'll try to capture one tower. Okay, I don't heart damage. I'll heal up the red duke. I don't want to overcast. If I do that, he'll lose a lot of health and I won't be able to heal him up any further. He's only able to replenish so much though. Oh, wrong group. I'll have to carefully hover over him if I want to watch that. Uh, hey, hold on now. No, no, no. Go after Adelhard. That's your only target you need. He's not debuffed anymore. He's getting a lot of damage that we hit him from behind. That was pretty good. Man, those bowmen are no joke. Okay, let's go over here and get these bowmen. There's four of them that have been killed by the bowmen. They better go right now. Or we can have it here. They've killed 55. Yeah, let's go get them instead. I can try to flood in. I hate flooding in, though. Oh, I really do. It's not my favorite thing to do. Let's go heal a few more warriors as we beat down Adelhard. Yeah, once we get him, I think they'll begin to lose hope. Who wouldn't lose hope after having your leader killed? No matter if you're winning or not, you'll probably feel a little bit sad about that. You'll be like, oh, man. Alright, we're now getting the Peasant Bowman. That's we're on the wall. Go to flank more enemies. That's we get rid of them. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. We can flank more enemies at the gate, too. And you can come over here and fight the Peasant Bowman. Alone. I know, terrible. Okay. We nearly have Adelhard. Debuffing him again. Oh, 
Look at that. No melee defense. Everything will hit. Destroyed 40. Oh, he's dropping though. Get him. Don't let him go. Oh, he's shuffling through. We nearly have him. He's running away. Come back here, Adelhard. That isn't very gallant of you. Where's your virtues? I'm gonna make you show your virtue in a moment. Hey! Move your zombies. Go have fun. All right, we'll just fight here for a little bit. They've got many spearmen. I'm gonna be able to take the walls. It's all bats are having a fine time destroying all their bowmen. That's pretty good. All right, let's move them out. I need to go heal them. Let's go over here and hit a lot of their friends. Oh, they're running low on ammo. That's actually pretty good. They're only taking on zombies. Never mind. We'll leave them. Should have moved through. We need to get Adelhard. If we're to win, we must destroy Adelhard. If I can get my graveguard on the wall, that would be cool too. I would like that. Probably get my Black Knights over here. Destroy that gate. Do they have every tower? Mm, nearly, but... Let's go bring everyone over here. We can bring the men later. Just shock them. Oh, we're about to get him. Thank you, Red Duke. Ooh! Adelhard will not be coming back. Tis not but a flesh wound. Alright, let's head over here now. Get right behind them. Bell bats, you'll head over here. Oh, they're getting kills. I admit that much. Yeah, look at my knights move in. They're gonna have a fun time. Come over here. Gonna launch on up. Uh, we are going to lose the majority of our army. You best believe that, my friend. The Red Duke is not gonna have a ball game here. He's only taking out 20. 21, 23. The Red Guard are moving in. They're climbing on the wall to come join them. They'll be up there eventually. The fell bats are taking out these peasant bowmen, trying to. They're not doing a lot of damage. Maybe they were shot at as they were going over there. All of my mounted units and hound units are heading over here to the gatehouse. I'll keep on using my magic to heal up a few units here and there. The Red Duke is leading them all to victory. They're going to have so many just routing. They can't keep up. How could they keep up? The graveyard will be up here eventually. Are we out of regeneration? No, we're not. Cool. Oh, they got my fell bats. Yeah. Maybe they got him in a crossfire. I don't know. Okay, we'll be through that gate eventually. The fell bats are cheap. It only requires one building for me to pick them up. The Graveguard are much harder for me to pick up, so if I mean, they were all gone, then I'd be in a little bit more trouble. But that's how you do it. You overwhelm them at various points. I mean, they can only defend with 70 men at one location. The zombies are great for binding things down and tiring out your foe without being expensive. You should go over here. Sure, you may have taken out 120, but I'm not going to be here much longer. To heal myself up with my next spell. But you can hear his entire dialogue as he summons up that spell. There's a peasant bowman. I need my spearman to head over here to go to the square. So I'll try to get them all down there. If we can. If we can. I'm having my spearman help me out with fighting their many lords. I'm kidding, they have no lords. They have only peasants! They're poor! Haha! -ha! No, that's me. Take some big old damage now we can't heal past that little line. We've killed 78. It's only gonna go up. Alright, let's heal up now. Beautiful. There's bowmen have got to die. Did we break down that gate yet? Not yet, nearly. Gate damage is going up. 
Battle number one, and it's already just a giant slaughter. I would say for me, because I lost a lot, but no, nah, not really. Okay, we got it. Now we can move in from behind. Black Knights will head in. One over there, good work. Head in over here. Experiment heading in too. Did you get him yet? Yeah, there's only a few left. They're beginning to waver. We could chase them for a little while. The Black Knights are charging in. They'll take out a lot of them. All my spearmen will head over here after the Mount of Yeoman. Bowmen have a few kills. My knights will come in from behind. The initial charge will do a lot of damage. Hopefully there will be a bit of friendly fire. Our anti-large capabilities will help destroy them. And eventually I'll be able to even have my own Bretonian halberds. Ah, pretty good, I know. Pretty good. He's still fighting. Over 100 kills now. Chill them up a bit. Can't wait to have all my regenerating units to help me out. Go over here and hit these Mount Yeomen. The Dire Wolves will head over here after the Peasant Bowmen and destroy them. Let's go charge at them from behind. That's pretty good. Now they're broken. And now they're falling. And then another charge over here behind their Mount Yeomen. They look darn good. With all my spears fighting, yeah, they're done. 129. Look at all the bodies around him. He's the one who's been cutting them all down like that. They just refuse to break. Man, they're sturdy. I didn't think they would be that sturdy. Oh, the red guards here. I forgot about them. My bad. They weren't meant to be forgotten about. They're probably all about to break anyway. We broke them all back here, so yeah. It's over. It's over. And a victory. The Red Duke of Musion has won again. We lost 1300, and Adelhard is gone. Let's go check it out. Occupy. Okay, level 2. The Hunger will pick that up. It's a passive ability. Active if in melee. And I'm in melee a lot. Might as well have a constant regeneration. And now we can replenish for a time. I've got my commandment. I'm going to pick up more corruption. Because early on, we need more corruption or we're going to have rebellions. Which I do not want. I could go fight Bretonia, but they're probably pretty strong. And fighting them in the field is going to be pretty brutal. They do have an orc menace to fight for a time. I'm hoping that they're fighting them. Said to be transcribed from scrolls of Neferata herself, this grave codex instructs the recently sired vampires in the art of infiltrating, influencing, and spreading the vampiric curse across the world. Alright, we're gonna pick up. Um, where is it at? We don't have bowmen yet. More armor for my warriors and skeleton spearmen units. I mean, that would be great if it wasn't so far away. We'll take more growth. I guess we'll have to. We can upgrade that location to a corrupted village. That'll take three turns, all right. I will take it. All right, I need a few more zombies to help me out. At level three, I'll have my regiments of renown. I have a Tormentor Sword. It's a pretty good debuff. Wow, another debuff, I like that. I'll take it. And we still do have our fell bent, thankfully. Whoa. They came into my lands briefly. And they finally destroyed that poor orc army. Dire wolf packs are a bit cheaper, but that isn't important to me either. Alright, let's head over here to Musion again. Bordello is my next target. That'll be another siege battle. I would rather fight him in a field of battle, but I doubt they'll I don't know. Come out. My only fear, my conquering over here, is if I begin to engage the Wood Elves. I don't want to fight the Wood Elves. Oh, no. 
That would be pretty frightening. Hmm, that is a good point. I would rather not bite them. Artois might actually be easier for me. My bloodline calls. I disobey. Oh, they have another lord. Here's Chilfroy. I would like to kill Chilfroy. Having one Bretonian ally would be nicer now. Ooh, look at that, the charging gun. If I could beat their army in the field of battle. This be important. That would be nice. I wonder if any of you I am like King me. Leon you don't. I'll find someone who likes Bow me. Before the rightful laws of this land. One day. Bow before the rightful There's laws Bastone. of this I don't think any of them will try to enter a treaty with me. These lands are ours, but No, I don't know about that. I feel like your land should be my lands, but your hey. Your offer best be good, vampire. No, it's really not, I guess. Skull Smashers are pretty weak. They have one location. Control. It is night. I could come over here, but he'll just come over here and attack Leoness. His walls by default, thankfully. Alright, if I pick up Cursed Fields, I could... Oh, look at that. Haunted Mill. Peasant Bowman. That is what I want. I don't really need anything but the pole arms. The pole arms are worthwhile. But not as cheap. Well, it'll all be pretty good, I guess. Though they would break pretty easily, too. Could use more corruption. Two turns. A bit of money, but we need to corrupt that area fully. Oh, man, what are they doing around here? Are they fighting each other? If they are, that is rather curious. Hold on, let's find out. Are they? Oh, Artois. You are much weaker now. Hey, now. Don't mind if I do. Hello, Chilfroy. Oh, no, you're not Chilfroy. That worked out in my favor. Those two fighting allowed me a great victory. Oh, wait, you have Knights of the Realm? Ooh. Yeah, I've got to get to level three. I've got to get a lot of abilities for the good Red Duke. If I can conquer these two locations, I'll have a lot more money and a lot more capabilities to recruit. Well, auto resolve that. It's a minor fight. As I lose a lot. <laughs> I give my regiments a renown. The Book of Ashur. This arcane tome. Bound in ancient dragon hide. Contains much wisdom on the conjuring and subjugation of spells. Pretty good. This grave digger too. Okay. What do I want over here? That would be more income. Not bad. That would lead to my trebuchet. Oh, and I do want my trebuchet. Right, what do I need over here? Map wide. Active if casting. Yeah. That's pretty alright. Even more healing. Raised dead is rather powerful. I do want that. We do need that. You have a debuff to make you powerful in combat. There. I'm going to call you... The Red Stalkers. And then... The Red Peasants. There we are. Tier 3. I'm going to have a rebellion eventually. Yeah, we've got so much to corrupt that we haven't been able to corrupt. I might even need to pick up a secondary lord as I pick up more income. I need to get over here to Gisero later. I'm hoping the Empire will, I don't know, ignore me. That would be good. Bretonia is now cut off from everyone else. I mean, I have him completely cut off. Oppression buildings will give me more income. Beautiful. Ooh, income will go up further. But let's pick up that one for more corruption. Or, if I can't corrupt, people will rebel all the time. I need to replenish a bit faster. I'm way too slow at it. But let's go over here and finish them off. Arnaud and Brandon. Whoa. That was pretty brutal. I normally would have auto-resolved that, but it was a garrison. Okay, now that we have that, 
I would like to build up what we do have. We are rank four. We've got to pick up Ray's dead. It's a great way to interrupt my foes. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. The Tithe, they're back. And Ray's dead again. I only have one zombie unit. I want at least three in any army. Okay, let's end our turn. I can get a new commandment too. Yeah, the only thing I want over here is really just a fence. Whatever I can pick up to defend that location with walls. Maybe Britannia will like me more because I fought an enemy of theirs. Ah, maybe. Whoa, look at that corruption. What is going on? That is a lot of corruption. I'm not a fan of that. Let's move on down. Oh, there will be a rebellion. I'm not sure at which location yet, but there's going to be one. Yet yeah, it's really like a basic part of Musion is that you have very basic stuff in the very beginning. It will take time for you to fully develop to have your full army that you might want to be mighty in combat. The Vampire Wars. You want me to fight Marienberg? Well, I don't know about that. Maybe not yet. Let's go over here and pick up another... No, not you. Ooh. That is pretty good. You're humble. Blood feud. Stragoi Ghoul King. Well, I normally would pick them up. But I'm feeling rather knightly. So I'll pick you up instead. Get a few zombies. Some anti-large stuff. I think our corruption would really go up now that we have so many here. Let's combine what we have. Yes. There we go. Get rid of that one unit. In turn. Is that another rebellion or is that their lasting army? I don't know. You yeah, there they go. Artois. You've got to grow in size. We have another location over here. I want to pick up the Cursed Fields for more income and get human units too. Oh, they're much stronger now. They are much stronger. Hold on. That will not be easy. I already know that much. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You'll get more zombies. Great. Alright. Look at the elite units he has. He's got a lot of elite units. I do not. The Cryptorids alone will probably kill every two to three hundred each. Let's go fight it out. It will not be a simple fight. I've got to destroy Odo Posner. If I don't destroy Odo Posner, oh, we're not going to make it. So we'll try to destroy Odo Posner. I could use more magic. I could always use more magic. My allies will be over on my left flank. Good to know. Okay, you got rid of one magic. Thank you for that. I should have bind them up. I use my zombies to bind them up. Yeah, I like that. Two per group of zombies. Kind of. Two over here. Two over here. You two will be in the middle to help me out. Maybe here and here. The Red Duke's over here. And Black Knight with everyone else will be hidden in the woods. As they probably should be in their own little group. Okay, let's group all of you up. They'll come out later to help me out. Have a great victory. They're rushing in from behind. Alright, I have another Lord to help me. I don't know what I'll name him yet. I'll have to think of a good name. Gonna be even more zombies. Let's get everyone in position. My zombies are there to wear them out. I'm gonna lose them all, probably. It's kind of the goal, in a way. And another group of zombies. By doing that, we'll have a lot of room to maneuver by spacing them out like that. It's kind of a strange, unconventional way to fight, but it's okay. The Red Duke will be over here with Jordan. Cognia. You could call him like the Red Count. Kind of like that idea. I might call him the Red Count. 
Give him a name. Make him sound cool. Oh, quit moving. He'll be okay. What do they have? They have fell bats. Any Vargolas? No. Yeah, look at that army. They're gonna kill so many of my undead. Kill. Destroy. You know what I mean. Hello, Jordan. Good of you to join me. Personally, I would like for him to have red armor as well. Ho oh, ho. There's two of us today. It's a beautiful day to fight. Oh, they look cool together. Great contrast. His undead army is still moving into position. Once they're all here, we'll begin to finally march forward. Yeah, the Cryptors I'll need to charge in at with my Black Knights, otherwise I won't be able to win. They do have Black Knights too, they have Fell Bats. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're outnumbered, they have the quality. We have the shared numbers. I mean, I do have my Tormentor Sword, which I'm very happy about. And I can bring in Skeleton Warriors or just Zombies if I want to. That'll be fun. More effective when fighting human opponents who can feel the impact of being flanked. You know, the fear. The fear is very important. Alright, now let's go and move up in just a moment. I'm going to lock everyone into position except for my mounted units who will come in later. Come on, zombies. You got it. I believe in you. Kind of. Yeah, with two leaders fighting together, we got them. Okay, let's begin to move up now. I'm using my arrow keys to do what I'm doing currently. They have no range units, so we can get pretty close to them and they'll charge at me. The Red Count and the Red Duke will fight together and take him out. Yeah, I'll probably keep him. Even if I don't give him a large army, might as well keep him to help out with corruption and potentially put him down rebellions. Our nobility has grown. We'll have like the red court is what we'll call it. Something something the red mask of death. Alright. Let's go now. We can go do that and fight them immediately. Well I would like to rather get around them I forget it. Just go in. Just go in. I don't even care anymore. Could go kill the Cryptors together. That might be like a good friendship building activity. Right, we have a lot of spears that we can bring in. So let's begin to bring them in. I'll bring them in from behind. It'll take time to get them all here. But once they're here, they'll do their part. So it's very important to me that I have my zombies do their part and just die, re-die, die again, whatever. Come over here and help out, though. They're going to need some help. The Red Guard can come help me out. And over here. Ah, Odo Pazna. Took a lot of damage. Oh, maybe he tried to overcast. Yeah, probably. Well, we could probably go kill the Cryptorius anyway. Yeah, we've already taken out two of them. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's come over here. Let's come over here. Oh, actually, go flank the Black Knight. That's more important to me. The Red Guard will come help me out. Here, we'll heal up right now. We'll debuff him. Oh, are you finally here, Odo? Yeah, we'll go get Odo. He's unable to move. You can now hit him. The Red Guard's moving in. Peasant Bowman will easily destroy the undead, which is pretty funny. We just need a few living units to help me out. Let's go over here with more of my mounted units. Go fight their grave guard. Let's come over here with my red stalkers. We nearly have Odo Posner. Keep each other healed up. Ooh. Odo is getting destroyed pretty early on. 
Did we even debuff him yet? No, we haven't debuffed him yet either. So going Ghoul Kings are pretty fragile. Ooh. Knocked back again. Okay. Now that you're surrounded, let's go in. Yeah, no matter what, we'll keep on killing ourselves and then we'll debuff him again. You nearly have him, come on. Goodbye, Odo. And a red guard are here to help out. Not the red, but. Get him! Oh, come on. Need to watch this guy die. He's not quite gone yet. Thank you, Red Duke. Thank you, Red Duke. He did it. Let's ignore him getting knocked down. It's not important. <laughs> that part isn't important. Alright, let's go charge in over here and get their Black Knights. Get them behind. We have them all surrounded. Let's go over here and fight some more Cryptors who are now beginning to crumble. More zombies. Here. But in Skeleton Warriors. All the debuffing is very powerful. Like the Tormentor Sword. Oh, I love it so much, man. 20 seconds of just an opponent completely weakened. Who cannot attack me. Chill up the Red Guard a bit. And my Red Stalkers. Alright, they're all falling apart now. That wasn't too bad. I actually did a really great job destroying them. We lost over 600, Jordan, or the Red Count. Over 500, Odo, completely destroyed. We've got another rebellion to put down. The Dire Pack, oh, that's very powerful. I like that, okay. I've got the Dire Pack. Let's combine, bring them in. Regiments of renown are what I need to help me stay ahead. Okay, the curse of undeath. Sure, that'd help me heal more. How much magic do I want? Everything in power drain are pretty important. I could use more armor in the future, but for now, a bit of magic. It's really not that powerful, but it's helpful. A few spells are powerful enough to keep me going. I like killing spells. I hunt. Alright, you're at 260. They'll come over here and keep them happy. The Red Duke's gonna move forward and go fight that human army. I feel that Having Batonia like me would be great. I wish they would. I mean, hold on. Yeah, you have a non aggression pact with another faction. Could probably give you a bit of money. I'm stronger than you are, though. Never mind. <laughs> I'm actually stronger. Ranked 14th. That's pretty good. Ooh, Baston. Yeah, you would be a nice one to take out. I would like that. But look at corruption go up. It's not too bad. Okay, here's my turn again. That'll be a bit more income. Pole arms would be very powerful at taking out enemy mounted units, and I can level up the Red Duke again. Oh, a very scary army. Could fight it. I feel like I have to. I feel like I've been auto resolving too much. Not really. I mean, it's only been garrison armies. Nothing too dramatic. But yeah, I do have a mod for better garrisons, and that's why they're even more powerful. I'll probably have all my mods listed down below if you want to just kind of check out their names and not my mod list. I don't know. I'll look at it. Alright, zombies in the middle. Take three of you over here. Three of you over here. Three of you over here. And three of you over here. Red Duke in the middle. 
Oh yeah, that dire pack. This is a beautiful anti-large tree. And that would be so damaging to them. I just can't wait to have Peasant Bowman. It's really incredible how much that's going to change up my game. I can't even imagine having range units the freaking vampire counts. I like this little picture of him. He's like, hey, what's the matter with you? Let's go in. Ooh, I'm gonna kill your leader. I'm gonna do it. Can't stop me. Oh wow, you're showing a few zombies. What a tragedy. Better go home, everyone. Just kidding. That's not happening at all. I'm actually going further into combat. But yeah, you two will go after that group. Let's come over here. Let's come over here. The Red Duke's on the way. Going in after their leader. So here's what we do. Here's what we do. Bring in a few of the uh, skeleton warriors. Let them do their thing over there. Oh, by the way, you have friends to fight. Enjoy. Alright, let's get a few spearmen over here. So come over here. You'll go join them. Look them over here. Oh, bam! Completely destroyed! Invalidated you are, my friend! Okay, all my mounted units will head on over here. Right now. Got a few more to take out over here as well. Well, they're doing some damage, I will admit that. Does it really matter, though? Bam! More warriors. Or oh, they will be here eventually. Actually, you know what? Let's get it right over here. Right into their formation. We'll overcast it. Oh, look at that. Right in your ranks. Oh, what's up, Raymond? How's it going? Feeling lively today? <laughs> well, not me. I never do. I'm dead. Everywhere. Just dead. Go get him. Surround him. Ooh, mounted yeoman. Gone. Thank you, swordsman. You got them too. More bowmen dead. They were overrun. They have nothing to look forward to. The buff cannot move. Oh, what's that, Raymond? You want to leave? Oh, well, you won't be going anywhere today. Let you stay in play. Get in there. Go kill them. Oh, beheaded again. Wait, wait, wait. All right, good. I was worried. I was like, wait, you shouldn't be alive. It's kind of creepy. Don't do that. Come over here. Actually, you go over here and get them. You guys are very quick. You can easily take it out. Or take out mounted Yemen archers. You two. Oh, no, hold on. They're over here. We'll go after them instead. Chase after whoever. I don't care anymore. We've won the fight. It's all over. And the battle is won. We did a great job winning that battle. End battle. We lost 215. They lost 299. And they all broke, and we can all go home now. Well, my home is the battlefield. Ooh. Did I level up again? Yeah, I did. Oh, I'm loving it, man. Oh, I'm loving it. Dance Macabre. 25 seconds. I mean, it's okay. I don't mind it. I'll take that. Make it stronger. Destroy them again. Something for another level, but can't be too greedy about it. We're about to be at level 7. Gisaro, you're going to be upgraded too. That was quick. Alright, Leoness is finally happy. Yeah, I mean, at times you need a good rebellion. You got to get all the unhappy people, have them arm up, and then you got to go, hey, look at that. They're arming up. Got to kill them to maintain the peace, and then you kill them all. Ooh. Pretty dark, I know. Alright, we'll call you the Red Count. We don't need an actual name for you. Beautiful. Love it. All oh, the orcs are looking pretty strong. That's kind of scary. I could grab a few halberds if I wanted to. 
But we're actually doing alright. It's in that turn. We can get even more income from our cities, and that will help me build a larger army. Maybe a second army. Doesn't matter if they're cheap or not right now. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's more corruption. Okay. I'll take that, too. Here we go. I need only tier three. And then you know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Trebu freaking Shays. Oh, I'm happy about it. I'm excited about it, even. All right, what am I? What do I want over here? I could use... Get comps. I can't get bar guys. I can't really get bar goals. I can get a terror guys, and that shouldn't cost me more. But yeah, these over here, 250. Out of your mind. Get out of here. Too much. Yeah, I'll need a good old ancient armory. Oh, here we go. More public order as well. Wait, before I build that, let me think about it. You don't really need these units for your garrison, do you? Not really. I could always bring you back later. You are level 2, rank 2. I'm going to give you the hunger. It's very important that you have the hunger. Yeah. I think we'll take that. And then what I want will be... Oh, that would be great. 12 turns, though. Blood is power. More ammunition for my peasant bowmen. Scavenge the dead. A lot of armor and weapon strength. But that would make my human units quite powerful. Maybe even more powerful than the other Bretonian units. I mean, if they are more powerful, that's actually really good for me. A wandering monster. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Not one bit. Okay, we're not happy enough yet. We'll pick up a gibbet. Not really a great public order bonus, but hey, we'll take it. Need more money for that. Are they happy enough? Yeah, they're actually happy enough on their own. I'll bring you back later, buddy. Let's come on down. Just because we want to pick up a few archers. Those archers will change up my game when fighting the other Bretonian units. I could... I mean, think about it. All of my infantry units take a long time to destroy... I can bind them down, move my archers wherever, shoot them up, call it a day. It's not like my human units who would die incredibly fast. Okay, one more turn for that. Oh, we're going to have a rebellion up here pretty soon, though. Good training, though. I'll have another level under my belt. All right, good. We need that. Well, it won't be an actual walled location yet. That's okay. Mission bell. That's okay. We didn't need that anyway. The Bray Herd's come. Yeah, I wouldn't want to fight a Minotaur right now. No, I want them to rebel. That's good training. I'll call it the Red Castle. We've got a theme going on. Growth is going up. They'll grow again in seven turns. Okay. That's a bit of time. Only plus five to my growth, which is kind of lame. Alright, now that we have that, let's go get rid of a few units. Maybe four. Yeah. Oh, check it out. Let's go look at her quick. Hold on. You guys do cost a bit more. You're not shielded, but your leadership is much higher. Okay, it doesn't really matter. You have a very high melee attack, high melee defense, weapon strength a bit higher, and armor piercing. But I want Bowman. Oh, we don't get a full group of them. Maybe that's the change. Okay. I get it. We don't get as many. Right, right. That would be logical to me. There we have our rebellion now. I don't have all my archers yet. But I kind of want to test it out. Fire damage. Oh. Red Duke is fire damage. Okay, I like that. That is pretty good. We'll find that battle too. We have peasant freaking bowmen. I wonder if they look any different. I doubt it, but let's go look at them. The colors are cool. Huh. 
Ha! Dialogue, fun. Hope that you're able to hear that. That's pretty funny. Okay. Zombies on the front lines. Bowman over here. Two of you over here. Two of you over here. Red guard over here. Red duke. Front lines. All right, skeleton warriors there and there. All right, knights in dire packs back here. You'll be in your own group. The remainder of you will be in your own group. Do we really need more magic? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, they're coming from me. Right, because I have range units. Okay, that'll work. The fell bats will probably go after. Oh, no, they're not moving up. Never mind. Oh, they're moving up a bit. Nope. Yeah, I've got so many things to help me counter my enemies. Man, I love it. It's crazy how such a small amount of stuff can change up your campaign so much. Alright. I could take out the Crypt Horrors probably pretty fast. I'm imagining that's true. Alright, hold on. Let's move two of you right by my bowmen. I don't want them getting torn up. Alright, let's go after the Crypt Horrors right now. Go to buff them and have them stay still for a time. It's really up to me if I want to do that. Oh, they can't move. Okay, let's move back. Come over here. Come over here. Here they come. Fighting a few zombies. Who cares? Focus the fire on the Kratoris who are falling apart now. I have range units to help me out. That feels incredibly weird and good. Bringing some swordsmen. Boom, a bit of damage on myself, but that is okay. I'll help myself up right now. Let's move up a little bit. Okay. Let's bring everyone. Over here, I don't know if anything's hidden. They are, I forgot about them already. Oh yeah, we're already destroying them. That's pretty good. Let's go over here and go after... Who? Waller, Rotep? Oh, no, Tim King. Yeah, Pretender. Go at the Felbats now. Check out one group of Cryptors pretty easily. Actually, let's go after that group. Yeah, we got it. No one can move. Now stay here, Philbats. You're all good. Alright, let them go fight. They have anti-large. Come over here, go get them. The Red Guard, come over here too. Come over here. Alright, who's fighting now? We gotta go beat the knights, which we can do easily. They may have charged at me, but it's okay. I got him. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, we're destroying the graveyard, which I'm not really interested in right now. The zombies are getting totaled. I'll go get Waller, who's losing a fight. Oh, no wonder he's a necromancer. I can easily go destroy him. Go destroy him then. Come on, Red Duke. You got it. Just gonna shuffle through. Okay, Red Guard, I need your help over here. Oh yeah, look at that. They're eating right through the Cryptoris. They're falling apart. We have the Black Knights around it. They're falling apart too. Notice how, as time goes on, we're becoming more efficient at taking down all of our opponents. It feels good. Oh, he's dead. We've watched the Red Duke destroy every leader in every single battle. That's pretty funny. I find that hilarious. No Necromancer to maintain the magic. Thank you, Peasant Bowman. It's a pretty big game changer. I still want maybe like one more. They don't have their full group that they would have if they were fighting for Petonia, but it's okay. Still. We had one group of Kratoris completely eliminated early on. It's so replenished now. Alright. You've got what you need. 
Gaze of Nagash. I don't know if that's even, in, I don't know, a worthwhile investment. Oh, hold on. When did we get that? Cool. Look at that. The pair corruption will go up, plus five. Armor piercing damage will go up. More loot. Unbreakable. Never around. Here's a pendant. More leadership for living melee infantry units. Plus 20 leadership. That's really good, too. Ward save, 15. Miscast. Chance will go up by 50%. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Level 8. Oh, one more level and we'll have Shroud from the Scourge, and that'll be powerful. We're melee defense, public order, armor for all my Graveguard and Black Knights. The Red Duke's Call. I can spawn a unit of Graveguards. Alright, that's enough magic, I think. Yeah. We'll pick up Quick Blood. I need him to be able to hit everything. We'll come over here because I want my trebuchet. We've nearly done it, man. We have really checkered out a good little corner from Moussillon. And we're growing quickly, which is pretty great. Hey, look, another rebellion will not harm me that much. But for now, I am going to replace. Well, hmm, no, let's move out. I want another rebellion. It's great training. I'm just drawing a new group. I'm not too worried about that. Done. What did I lose an entire group of? Maybe... Zombies again? Maybe. I'll grab more spearmen. Yeah, this is over here. Let's end that turn. Do not spawn by Gisero, or that's going to set me back a bit. I'll have to go over there to travel. Ready for duty. Good. Okay, scavengers are dead. My living units are more powerful. Chaos stirs already. Please don't do that. <laughs> that's way too soon. They come way too quickly. Ah, here we go. 200 more for income. Adjacent locations will have more corruption. Musion will be tier 3. It's more important to me right now, actually. Oh, come on, I want that rebellion. Alright. Unholy motivation. If I pick that up, a peasant bowman would be pretty good. Do we have any other thing here? Hold on, I'm looking for Blood Knights. I mean, that's okay. I do need to pick up my Grave Guard. We're getting close to that point now where I need to get them. Weapon Strength, Upkeep will go down. That's a long wait, though. It's for my artillery. 8,000, though. It's a lot. I mean, that's pretty good, though. For skeletal and zombie unit recruits, they'll be a bit stronger. I need to get some bonuses to my research. Okay, Grung Zent is gone. We're not going to take it out. Oh, are they fighting me now? They are, in fact, fighting me. It's going to be a tough war now. Now I don't want a rebellion. That's going to make it much tougher. Okay, we do have a lot of income on the way. We'll take him up. Raise the banners. Okay, cool. It's a new benefit. I can pick up a few halberds if I really want to. I can pick up too many. That'll cost way too much. Pick up a few of you. The bowmen aren't cheap. Yeah, here's the red duke. Very, very strong. I want the rebellion now. Let's move over here. Okay, Gisero. You're still not ready. You're not tier 3 yet. That'll be in one turn. But I can upgrade your location. Yeah, Leonis has walls. I need walls over Moussillon. At least for now. Later I'll destroy them when I don't need them. Chaos Corruption is really bad, though. Gotta find a way to counter that. Oh, here they come. They might even take out Leonis. I mean, that would really put me back. There's that rebellion that I wanted. Go destroy that. Pretty good. Okay. Let's go over to the Red Castle. He's rank 8. Oh, I can just pick it up. Okay, no quest. Aw. But that is a really powerful buff. That makes him really good now. Even better than before. It'll be his in one turn. Melee defense plus 15. I don't feel it's too powerful. Holy hell. 
He's gonna, well, I mean, he's meant to be that mighty, though, as a freaking blood knight, so that's logical, in a way. Alright, hold on. I'll give you that. A few of those, too. Maybe a few bowmen. Can I get a hero? Darn it. Yeah, that's right, I don't have any buildings for that. Shoot, I was gonna hoping that I did. I don't know, I have a thing for it. Leoness, I mean, we've got a few things that can help me in battle, but there's not a lot. Not right now. What do you want? Britonia, can you leave it alone? Would you, you like to leave it alone? You would not leave it alone. Okay. Well, when we're back, we'll go fight Britonia. And that'll be a pretty extreme affair. Okay, let's go over a few things real quick. My mod collection is down below. If you would like to name anything in the game, let me know down below. If I'm recording in bulk, it may take me a few episodes to finally get to it. So, just keep in mind, I probably have read your comment. It's just that I... Record it in bulk. Okay, well, I do hope that you enjoyed this Let's Play. If you enjoy any part of my series, please make sure that you leave a like and subscribe and all that to see more. And there is a playlist linked down below so you can watch every single episode and hopefully enjoy it. All right, well, have a great day and night. And as always, until then...